Welcome to another IUT tutorial. Today we're going to look at another local broker called Project IoT. So this broker is uh, locally operated in Malaysia and so far still in beta mode. So as you can see from the installation node provided uh, the broker here still in beta mode and there will be some issues until the system is uh, stable enough you can request up to 8640 requests api per d which means that um, if we put it into daily request this is 46,800 divided by 8640 which means that you can request one API every 10 seconds and that you can get 24 hours running for your device Alright, so um, head over to projectiut.com Let me try to log out first So you can go to openprojectiut.com Authentication login um, There's no main page, landing page So this is what you get So you need to register You can register using Gmail Or the GitHub here so I already register so my registration through Gmail so I can just straight, straight away log in I do have one project here uh, but I'm going to delete this project just to see just to show the full process of creating new project Alright, so I'm going to use uh, the same example um, using Node MCU and DHT11, but this time around, I'm going to publish the data from um, Node MCU to Project IoT. So let's start with um, create a new project. So I'm going to give a project name. example IOT or node MCU DHT 11 so training or tutorial on node MCU DHT 11 and also project IOT so I'm going to have this in uh, full mode alright so once you created a project you're going to have the following dashboard so you can change uh, in terms of your project settings your current project mode is full so which means that we are sending data um, project URL so you can make your project available to the masses by enabling or changing the project URL to public alright so this is the most important part so this is where you add your sensor data I'm going to come back to this later um, API key here this is the API key so the uh, request is based on HTTP post and GET request um, and fortunately they provided this um, nice little feature um, to use the API and it's quite easy so just use GET statement here and then put it into your Arduino code and for this part here the end 
uh, go to the end page they will provide you with the details of your project and this is where you delete your project all right so since uh, we're going to use um, node MCU and um, DHT11 so I'm going to add two sensor uh, reading to read temperature and humidity all right so I'm, I'm go I'm going to add new here sensor name here I'm going to put um, temperature temperature as a display name so we're going to use it the same put it uh, Celsius because the reading from DHT11 is in Celsius um, so here we can set the mean and max value so we know that the temperature can be between 0 to 100 uh, as a max value but that depends if you want to set the, the max or the mean value so that the display of your end point later you can get um, a graphical display um, based on this uh, mean and max value alright so let me set this um, from 0 to 100 so we use as it is add sensor for temperature I'm going to add another one so the second one for humidity so this one is in percentage so we start again from 0 to 100 percent humidity so add sensor alright so once you add sensor information here you will see that your API how to use the API section here changes so all you need to do is just copy this code and you just have to go to um, Arduino and change the following code so this code later you can download uh, from my github I'm going to provide you with a link um, down below um, so I'm going to change it here um, for the request itself okay so the value is going to be for temperature is value so we get the value from up there temp and for humidity we're going to pass value string humidity all right so that is for the request um, the rest you don't have to change anything at all um, maybe you need to change your SSID and your uh, Wi-Fi credential so that's it um, connect your DHT11 um, data or signal to D4 uh, VCC to ground, uh, sorry, VCC to 3.3 V3 and GND ground to ground and that's it compile the project to your node MC okay compile the project to node MCU so connect your node MCU uh, make sure your COM port is available your, you select the correct board and I set your upload speed and press upload alright so the code successfully uploaded you can view through serial monitor and wait for the data for unit MCU to connect to your Wi-Fi and upload your data to the project IUT alright so it returns ok through message ok means that the data successfully uploaded so if you want to see the data you can go back to your project and see the you can see the record here the data recorded here 23 degrees celsius with 59 percent humidity 
So the data is in the following structure in the endpoint. So this is live data. And this is your endpoint data recorded. So you can download this or export this into Excel. You can just press this button and export your project. Sorry. To go back to my project and manage record. Okay. So this is quite easy to use. Um, the data is uploaded every 10 seconds and um, you, if you like to set your project as a visible to public you just set the project for example here and make it as a public press button yes and now this project can be viewed from this endpoint okay, you can see this is the endpoint and this is the data available and can be viewed by others and This is so far I can see the easiest broker available and also accessible for students to use for their project. But be careful, um, the limit is um, around 8000 API requests daily. So be in that um, limit. This is still in public, uh, this is still in beta stage. Things might get changes in the future. So far, it works. It's quite easy to, to build. All right, so with that, thank you.